and they're going to take notes about this too. My list, the top five players participating in this year's Super Bowl. So let's get to it. Give me number five on the list right now, please. Bam! Hassan Reddick. Why? 16 sacks during the regular season, another three and a half during the postseason, plus the the fourth fumble. His brother has been legit. Now you got a few dudes on the Eagles with 11 sacks. Fletcher Cox got seven himself. They've had 70 as a team this year, but this brother right here has led the way. And if he continues, we got to pay attention because if he gets all in the mug of Patrick Mahomes, listen, Tom Brady lost a couple of Super Bowls to the New York Giants because brothers got all up in them. Let's keep that in mind. That's a factor. Let's go to number four on the list. Please give it to me. Right Bam! Travis Kelly. Kelsey. Why? Because he's a future Hall of Famer. That's why. Because he's the best tight end in football. That's why. Because he's the primary target of Patrick Mahomes. That's why. Because he's all that in a bag of chips, y'all. Had another 13 plus 100 yard catching season. All right. The brother's something special. He's obviously going to be somebody that Patrick Mahomes relies upon, particularly when the Eagles apply that pressure to him. It's going to be a problem. But Travis Kelsey is there. It'll alleviate things. Let's go to number three on the list, please. Boom! Chris Jones! Did you see what he did in the AFC Championship game? Did you see how he showed up against the Cincinnati Bengals? Everybody talked about him being a player. Once he gets all up in you, it galvanizes the Kansas City Chiefs defense, makes them look somewhat respectable, takes some of the pressure off of Patrick Mahomes. That'll be a key in a game of this magnitude, all right? The Eagles will try to run the football, but when they throw it, if this brother applies, Pressure is going to be a tough ride for Jalen Hurts. Keep that in mind. He ain't top two, though. This is top two right here. Give it to me. Bam! Jalen Hurts, the most improved player in the NFL to be. Obviously a top two candidate for league MVP honors. We can't ignore any of that. The job that Jalen Hurts has done, we saw what the Eagles, we got to understand what this brother brings to the table, okay? This brother's something special. He's Jalen Hurts, and he's going to show up in the Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs better do something about this brother, otherwise the Eagles are going home champions. But the same could be said about number one on the list, Patrick Mahomes. Why? Five years as a starter. Five trips to the AFC Championship game. Third trip to the Super Bowl. This is what this brother brings to the table. I don't need to get into all of the superlatives. We'd be redundant, regurgitating such things. It is completely unnecessary. The bottom line is this. We're talking Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Chris Jones, Travis Kelsey, and Hassan Reddick. And by the way, Keyshawn can't get on me like he did last time. I got not one, but two dudes on the defensive side of the ball in a top five list. I didn't ignore defense this time around. That is my list of the top five players. Playing in the Super Bowl. Here you go. Man. Keyshawn. <laughs> Keyshawn, you hear me, right? Key, you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you, coach. When when someone says something on this show, on Stephen A's show, that he disagrees <laughs> with, what is the um, animated thing that he does? And what is the phrase that he uses? The list it's fluid. fluid. It's fluid. It's fluid. It's fluid. It's fluid. It's fluid. This, list, this list is fluid enough to be flushed down a toilet. That's how, that's, that, that's the fluidity <laughs> of it. You, you use this saying, you say, Stevie Day, you say, stay off the weed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I just want to make myself, I just want to understand this list, because I heard what you said about my list last week. <clears throat> so you I didn't, didn't say much about me. it. That was really Keyshawn. <laughs> well, go ahead. You didn't say much about it? I didn't say much about it. I was knocking now. you for what Keyshawn said about you. That's what I was All doing. Right. I so, left it up to him. So you're you want to put in Travis, which who's a great player, but the guy who had more receiving stats this year, we're not going to put in. Who had better receiving stats this year, we're not going to put in. We we're talk about AJ? AJ Brown. Oh, no, no, AJ no, no, Brown no, playing. I, I, Did you no, know no. that AJ Brown's playing in the game? Oh, can I respond to that? No, I think yeah, the Eagles, yeah, I, I think the Eagles are going to run the football. I think the Eagles are going to run the football more than Kansas City's going to run. That's the only reason no, 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 I picked no, no, Kelsey no, no, over A.J. Brown. No, 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 You didn't. This is not Stephen A.'s most important list. This is Stephen A.'s top, top five players. players in Super Bowl. Right. A.J. Brown had 88 list? catches for 1,400 yards and 11 touchdowns. Oh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're doing Did it. I not just explain what well, my it, it was, man? No, Stephen A., if you think the Eagles are going to run the football, then you don't put either of the Hall of Fame offensive linemen they have? No. No. 
Just no. no. That's a good, I, no. I, I just, I just we don't, we don't put the not, best center in football. I know that you don't care about stuff, but I care about being sexy. That's not a sexy list. That's not a sexy list to throw the offensive lineman in there. I care about being sexy. See, see okay, you need so to care now, more now. Than. Now you, you need to care about, more if you care about being sexy. sexy. You need to care more. Sexy yeah, you you talking about being list. sexy. I mean, look, that man. jacket looks like I don't, a I don't oil. see sexy. A, AJ on here. Brown not on the list is a problem for me. But here's what I'm gonna say as a whole: the category of the list, man. You can top five. Find something more creative than the top five players left in the yeah. playoffs. Anybody I did what can they go. Asked Patrick, me to do. Anybody can go. Patrick Mahomes. Look. Don't blame them. It's your <laughs> damn show. It's you your, get make your left the hand title. Out your pocket. You the one get that your left hand out your pocket. Come on, man. Come it's come your on, man. damn show. <laughs> my but my the top year olds could give you the top Think five Think about players. it. Top five players left in the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, <laughs> no, Chris duh. Jones, Travis. Like, duh. Like, give me something a little more creative. The reason they're in the Super Bowl. I can't even give you a damn grade. Like, seriously. In fact, you don't have a... Have met in the Super Bowl. Philly had 70 of them during the regular season. Kansas City had the next most with 55. And with Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes squaring off, this is the first Super Bowl to feature two black starting quarterbacks. Both of those players talked last night about the historic matchup. It's historic. Um, you know, I think the game has evolved. And it's continuing to evolve before our eyes. You know, and that's a beautiful thing to see, to be a part of this history. It's a blessing. I have a lot of respect for the guys that came before me and laid the foundation. They gave me the position to be here. It's going to be a special game and a special moment for a lot of kids to watch as they grow up and try to, try to assume that role that we're trying to set the example for. This is about as close a matchup as it can be. The teams have identical win-loss records. They've scored the same number of points. They have the exact same number of all-pro selections. And our analytics are split right down the middle, giving each chance, each team, a 50% chance to win. So it can't end in a tie. That, that is, again, they'll just play overtime until somebody wins it. It is, after all, a must-win game, <laughs> uh, as we found out from Nick Sirianni. Uh, so uh, when we look at like how teams can, can separate themselves in a close game like this, w what's the biggest weakness that Patrick Mahomes can exploit in the Eagles? It's actually the Eagles' run defense. They're 24th in the league. They give up about 4.6 yards per carry. Now, Andy Reid is a very aggressive offensive coach, play caller. Him and Eric Bieniemy really try to push the ball down the field. It'll be interesting to see from a strategic standpoint, do they modify their approach this game because their matchup, they have a really good running back and Isaiah Pacheco averages almost five yards a carry. As you mentioned earlier, Dan, they activated Clyde's Edward Alaire, so they have a little bit more depth there. So from a strategy standpoint and a chess match, I'm really interested to see will Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy modify themselves a little bit to exploit the one vulnerability of that Eagles defense, which is stopping the run. Yeah, I think the Eagles defense, uh, the stopping the run thing I understand, but they're really good at limiting big plays. So mm -hmm. I would find a way if I was the, the Chiefs to try to find a way to create big plays. And that way, I think, is using Travis Kelsey, Kelsey in the middle of the field. There hasn't been an answer for Travis Kelsey all season, and that's where Eagles are weakest in the passing game. They're number one in the league outside the numbers. They're number 26. I think in the league of the in the league inside the number through passing attack and that's where Travis Kelsey likes to work So I think that's the way that they beat him. Yes, some running but you're gonna have to get big chunks against any NFL defense Especially one this good. What do you think? How do the Chiefs attack the Eagles? I think Clyde's Clyde Zellaire, Edward Zellaire is a guy that like he, he, before his injury He's a big screen guy So hmm. when you have a physical aggressive front that likes to get up the field and pass rush the one way that you can really attack that is through the screen game. And Patrick Mahomes' his ability to sidearm the ball and get it through the traffic, I think having a running back that you can run the screens through is really going to slow down the front. That's how you slow him down, screen game. Add him to Pacheco, Jarek McKinnon, who had a big finish to the yep. season. They do have depth at that running back position. Let's flip it around. How do the Eagles take advantage of a Chiefs weakness? Well, I think it's the offensive tackle. Like, you know, if you go across the board here, the offensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs, they're solid in the middle. But on the outside, you know, Wiley's a, a kind of a weak link there. So you have a great pass rusher. We know that the Eagles can get after the quarterback. Um, so, again, if you look at Reddick and what he's been able to do, he's got 19 and a half sacks. 
through the regular season and the playoffs, three and a half in the playoffs. You saw them last week against the 49ers. They game plan terrible. They had a, a, a backside tight end coming across to try and block the best pass rusher they have. So you have to make sure that you put your best pass rusher against the weak link. Take advantage of that. Maybe you get a ball off them. We've seen in the Super Bowl in the past with the Eagles playing the Patriots. Mm -hmm. It was only one rush. You get the ball off somebody, you get a turnover, that's the game. Mike T, what do you think the Chiefs' biggest weakness is? Oh, it's their lack of experience on defense. It's remarkable how good they've been this year and how young they are. When you think about their secondary, Trent McDuffie's a first-round pick. Jalen Watson's a seventh-round pick. Josh Williams a fourth. Brian Cook's a second. And they've all played meaningful amounts of snaps this year. And when you're going against this...